Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you want to design and build a beautiful website, you can do it all in one place with Squarespace. Welcome to another video. This month I wanted to share like our moving process but it, it all took a little bit longer than expected so right now we're in the middle of two studios and so I can't share that so instead I thought I would do a little chill home vlog especially because I feel like the move is making me feel a bit yuck. Like I feel really purposeless and I don't feel like I can do personal work, I don't feel like I can work because I don't have a space to work. All of my materials are packed up in the new studio but all of my furniture is in the old studio so it's just kind of annoying so i'm just working through that right now i don't really like change and this is like really prolonged change so we'll just see how how it goes shall we chris brought a bunch of stuff from the po box it's probably been in there for a while so we're gonna open that i think that will give me pep because it's always really sweet i i i started opening one and it always made me cry so i thought maybe i'll just open it see if it really peps me up so I felt blue for a little while and I don't want to feel like that anymore. First of all, handwriting is impeccable. This was sent on December 16th, so I'm really sorry that I haven't opened this till now. Dear Sean, I think we can all agree that this year has kind of sucked in, in some way or another. In my tiny corner of the world, mine has sucked a little less ever since I discovered your YouTube channel. Over the first many months of isolation, I sunk into a pretty deep depression. I didn't want to work, talk to anyone, or make art, which is usually my fail-safe therapeutic outlet. Then I found your videos. I was looking for studio vlogs to give me some sort of community feeling, and I can't express the depth of cheer that this is so nice they brought back into my life when i started running out of content i even rationed your videos making sure i stretched them out enough for more days worth of planning slash motivation when i saw you were putting out your second book i got so excited that i decided that would also be my own big project now that it's printed i wanted to give you a coffee they always say you'd be surprised at who your life impacted most the ripple effect of kindness and good vibes goes farther than you think so i wanted to reach out and give proof of that I'm just one random stranger all the way across the world in Montreal whose life is better because of your impact and I'm positive I'm just one drop in the bucket who thinks that. If he has the video where Rocket talked about his depression really helped me a lot so please pass that on to him too. That's nice isn't it? Oh it's really printed that's so cool. Look it's signed. <laughs> Thank you so much for sending me a book and also mostly for your letter. Your letter Oh, it really touches me and makes me feel feel more motivated because I've been really really unmotivated lately with my work and like even just with making videos and stuff I just feel like more joyless than usual. It's just nice. This is the next block. Woo -hoo -hoo. A note to me. Look how nice it I love letters because I just love long things. I keep everything in a box that says mail on it. Hey Sean, I hope you're doing well. I've been meaning to send this for a while, but life keeps getting in the way. It's not much, but I want to send a few treats. Some to share with Rocket and Tonka that made me think of you, or I thought you'd enjoy. The pass- Oh, the candy in here! I hope it hasn't gone off. I grew up drawing and painting, and I hope to return to doing that more in my personal time since moving. When I found you on YouTube a couple years ago, I was so bewildered that you were a design major who became a full-time illustrator. I hope to someday be making art full-time. This year has been crazy, and I hope between your book, second one, becoming a kitty mom, that you're taking time for you. <laughs> so nice. 
I hope the rest of 2020 treats you and Rock it well. Oh my god, this is from before the end of 2020. When this crazy thing is over, come visit PEI and Atlantic Canada. Thank you for being you, posting amazing content online. Love, Tabitha. I think this is what I needed because I've been feeling so sad. Candy! Tonks! We have to give that to Tonks. First of all, thank you so much. I hope this isn't off. I'm sure it'll be good. Let's try it. Saltwater taffy. Sorry for my runny nose, okay? I'm just emotional. Canada. When we went to Canada, we went to British Columbia, which is here. We really want to travel all around Canada. We especially want to go to... Where did Timidus live in uh, Kitchener? It's over this side of Canada, so I want to go over this side of Canada. Like, last time we went to Canada, we were only there for like two or three days, and I would love to go back. Do I like taffy? I don't know what it is. Mm, looks good. It's salty, apparently. It's not that salty. Is that maple? Maple syrup cookies? I love maple syrup. Someone reminded me of this time I drank maple syrup straight from the bottle in the vlog, and I don't remember doing that, so I'm sorry. This, but there's... Olympic branding on here. That means I can't open this because I love the Olympics. Okay, perfect. these are all notebooks and sketchbooks. I wanted to put a notebook next to my bedside so I could write down um, like thoughts that I had before bed. The rum with the cherry. Mm, mm, mm. That is tasty. That cherry is good. I love candy. No snow globe. Bear. I think it got a bit discolored. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a cloudy day. Wow, I feel perked up already. Two really nice letters, a book and some candy. That's all I needed. Let's just hope the next one isn't a hate mail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what this is. Okay, okay. Their mom found a bunch of like Sydney Olympics merch stuff that they had in their house and they're sending me some of it. Hi, Shan, you're such a wonderful inspiration to our girls. We love your work. Please find and close one of my 17-year-old daughter's Cryptober prints. She has a little story in each one, including the flower choice. Have a great day, Shannon Shoes. I hope you enjoy. I love seeing young people make stuff. When I started painting, I was 17. A while back, like I shared a story about how much I love Sydney 2000 Olympic March because obviously such a good time in our lives, like simpler times, you know, and there was no meme, so no one could make fun of the Olympics. First of all, a Millie. I'll explain in a second, but this is a keychain. This is Lizzie. This is the Paralympic mascot. In my school, um, we had like a stuffed animal Lizzie, like stuffed toy Lizzie, plushy Lizzie, and then whoever was the best class of the week would get to take care of Lizzie. This is Sid. Sid is the platypus. And then this is Ollie, and Ollie is the kookaburra. So, they they actually offered to send me so much stuff, but I just didn't want to have like a lot of things because I know that I won't be able to take care of it and keep it and we don't have a place for it. Baby, imagine these are my backpack. Okay, so Lizzie is the mascot for the Paralympics. It's a frill neck lizard, and when Lizzie like puts her frills out, it's the shape of Australia. Now these are the mascots for the Sydney Olympic Games. Sid is short for Sydney, obviously. Ollie is short for Olympics. Millie is short for Millennium. Because Sydney 2000 Olympics was the Millennium Olympics. And I just love that. Anyway, I love the Olympics. So I'm gonna put these together and put on my backpack now. Oh, thank you so much, Shannon. And for the print and for the cute little merch, I'm definitely gonna, I'm gonna send you some stuff because I want, really wanted to. I didn't forget, I just couldn't find the message from your daughter, so I couldn't remember the address. Oh my God, so cute. Oh my God, more Olympics. I feel like I made that story and everyone was like, I need to send you Olympic stuff. Hey, Sean, first of all, I don't know what this is. I'm excited. <laughs> so much Olympic stuff. <gasps> Please have Ian Thorpe. This is the program from the Sydney Olympic Games. Oh, look oh. at that. First of all, look at our logo. So awesome. The Sydney Olympics, oh, so amazing. Okay, wait first. Hey, Sean, I found this 2000 Olympics opening ceremony program and immediately thought of you. It's not strictly design related, but I think would still make a nice addition to your collection of Olympics memorabilia. I also included a little gouache painting of Tonka. He's actually the first pet I've painted. Also, congratulations on the release of Bandits. I bought it from Dimmicks and the story and illustrations are so beautiful. I've fallen absolutely in love with it. All the best in the new year. Thank you, Ruby. Pretty flower. Community, your content and beautiful illustrations have really helped to inject some much needed positivity in my life during this weird year. As a token of my appreciation, I wanted to send a little something as thanks from one Asian creator to another. Here's a little gift. Happy cherry blossom season. Don't know if it's the right time for you all down under. I'm okay. I feel a pin. Is it an Olympics pin? It's an Olympics pin. <laughs> There's so much Olympic stuff. Korean flag Olympics? How interesting, I've never seen that before. Anyway, I should get to the letter first. It's rude to open presents before wow. the letter. Dear Sean, 
Hi, my name is Georgie and I first found you on YouTube. I saw a studio vlog and I fell in love with your art, your personality and I wanted to be just like you. I draw it every now and then and make rubber stamps, embroider and would love to understand paint. I think I need to learn some colour theory first though. Not true, you can learn through making. One of my favourite videos of yours, well it's actually Rockets, is she was scared at the river. <laughs> Insert crying laughing emoji. <laughs> I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. I'd love Rocket to create more YouTube content. Anyway, the reason I'm even here in your PO box, the pin, the Instagram story of the Sydney 2000 team made me so happy. I instantly thought Sean showed my partner and was so excited telling him how much I need to give it to you. The only thing I picked up that day. I hope it brings you so much joy. I'm not sure how rare it is. I hope to see it on your pencil case. Oh, well, I'll definitely put it on my pencil case. I've never seen a pin like this before. There's like Sydney 2000s pins that I've seen before. It has the Korean flag on. I've never seen like a, a Sydney Olympics pin that has a flag on it ever. Stickers. Joyful Art by Natalie Newman. Moonshadowgarden.com. Baby YouTube, everyone. Look at the work they do. Reminds me a bit of Lee's work. Tonky. Thank you so much. This is actually a swap. Lisa Junis and I traded, like I traded a copy of Bandits and um, for her new book. It, it was released a little while ago. You'll know that it's like really blue. So everything of course is blue. There's little stickers in here. So cute. Love you. <laughs> so cute. Oh, these are such nice stickers. Iridescent. I want to make iridescent stickers. Pretty. Oh, it's not all blue. How interesting. It says, walking the mountain. Whoa, look at the end pages. Two shards, stay fierce. Lovely, Lisa, so cute. I'll put this in my little children's book section. Thank you, Lisa. I hope you like bandits. Oh, look at this, a seal. Dear Sean, I send this gift with much love and care from San Francisco, California. I've watched your videos for many years and they've helped me get through some challenging dark times. In some ways I feel indebted to you and Rocket because I've gained so much inspiration and knowledge from your content that I truly felt I had to give a little something in return. For many years I had an interest in pursuing illustration and writing, but as a Mexican-American girl growing up on the south side of Chicago, those options weren't in the cards i have been dealt. When I watch your videos, I see the humor, the cuteness, the quirky editing, but also how hard you work to be an illustrator and to get to do what you love. And with complete sincerity, I can say that you have inspired me to be more than a bookish nerd who loves cartoons. Shoot, I could be a bookish nerd who draws cartoons. Honestly, thanks to you, I was inspired to set aside my fears and share my illustrations. Really hope you enjoy this gift. Give my best to Rocket and Tonga, please. All the best, Sandy. This is from Tara Casey. Oh, I know Tara Casey. You know why? Because they followed me for a really long time. I, I know this person's name. You, oh, this is Christmas stuff. I, oh, this was probably sent to me at Christmas time. I feel bad. Sorry, we don't check our PO box that often. Pavlova. Maybe these I can use as Christmas cards this year. Is a gift from Ocean Hughes. I'm not sure what, if that's their real name or just their business name. Cool. Look how cute her illustrations are, that's gorgeous. It's like, oh, a bookmark, I'll be using this. Hey Sean, I'm so excited to be sending you this. You are a huge inspiration of mine. I can't wait to see you using your new paintbrush rest on your socials. Oh, and I made you something special to add to your apple collection. Oh my god, an apple thing. Okay, I'm so excited. It's warm colors. Warm with like the little cloud patterns, so cute. I only usually use like two brushes, so going to be very big. Oh, this is cute. You made like a little clay apple with worms on it. That's so cute. Baby, you have to see this. That's so awesome. I can't wait to put that in my studio. Hey, Sean, my name is Julia and I'm from Florida, which is in the US. I'm 16 now and I've been watching your YouTube channel for many years now. So, so many that I can't even remember when I started. I always watch your videos. I really love to draw and I mainly paint in watercolor. So it's always fun to watch you paint and illustrate things. I also love your art style. I feel like it's very abstract yet intricately detailed. By the way, your new cat Tonka is very cute. I wish my family could get a cat, but my dad's sister are allergic. This is me and Rocket. So cute. This is me. I look much nicer here than I do in person. Hello, this is a bit random, but you know how we've all gone a bit crazy during this COVID-19 period? Well, for me, I started to do my usual painting and instead got a bit obsessed with embroidery. Yeah, and one night I was thinking of new designers did. I thought of the FLP house and I thought it could be a cool way to say thank you for all the amazing content you put out this in this world. Thank you. So the dimensions are way off, but I think it's still kind of cute. Hopefully you like it. Thank you, Kathy. This is so cute. I love it. Yay. Oh, and that's all of the stuff that I have. This one actually really cheered me up. I feel so much better. I feel more motivated. Today I was like, I really don't want to like do today. I'm just really sentimental and like I keep all the letters I've ever received. Even like the ones from the, the early days when I sent like a paint, I sold a painting for like $20 to someone. The first 
was really excited to send it like interstate to like Perth and then I sent it to Germany I still keep all of like the letters that people have sent from that time that was like 10 years ago so now I think we're going to go to the studio pack down my desk and pack down any last minute things so that's not like super fun but it has to happen. Thank you for everyone for sending me stuff because it really cheered me up and I really needed it. This is the state of the studio. This is all that's left of the studio. <laughs> and yeah, I just think that's just very cool and I can't wait to get it over and done with. I think we could probably finish today. <laughs> Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video as per usual. As you guys know, I've been a lover of Squarespace for like several years, like a huge super fan of Squarespace for so long. But today is the day that I discovered that I could update my website from my tablet. Why didn't I figure this out before? It makes it so easy, especially because I was updating my website with portfolio stuff. Usually I would airdrop this to my laptop and then put it onto my website, but I had no idea I could just do it straight from my iPad. So hot tip, do that instead. <laughs> Not only can you update your website from your tablet, but when you choose a theme, you don't have to change any designs for mobile, desktop, or tablet. It automatically does it, automatically makes it beautiful. It's awesome. So if you haven't used Squarespace before and you want to, go to squarespace.com slash furrylittlepeach. You get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. Thank you for watching. Woo! I'll see you next time with a moving vlog. My movie studios, oh my God. Okay, bye. <laughs>